Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm here today to talk to you about Light Pack 2. I just want to start off this video by saying um, I'm a huge fan of the first Light Pack, uh, the original Light Pack, which was just called Light Pack. It's now being called a Light Pack PC. Um, was a fantastic product at the time. Um, what it does is it takes the uh, image on your screen and it spreads backlight behind your PC based off of the colors taken directly from your display. So it creates a beautiful light show. You know, if you have red colors flashing on your screen, it'll take them and shine them behind your TV. Not only is it beautiful, but it also extends the image, helps with uh, eye strain and the dark, things like that as well. So it's, it's a product I've always really loved. Um, so back in 2016, uh, the company that made the original Light Pack Wooden Shark announced and created a Kickstarter for Light Pack 2, which was going to be the follow up and successor of the Light Pack, and it was going to be better in every way. It was going to be HDMI, so before the original Light Pack, uh, it only plugged directly into the PC and it had to use uh, software on the computer to process the imagery and spit out the lights. Uh, LED density was very high, there's only eight strips with three LEDs. On each, the three LEDs aggregated a specific section of the screen um, that you would you would call into place. Um, so it it was great at the time, but it's definitely outdated, especially for larger displays, um, especially since it uses processing power, and especially since you can't use it with third-party devices such as um, such as game consoles and uh, Blu-ray players and things like that. So the new Light Pack Two is supposed to introduce a lot of things. I'll start this off here, uh, going over an overview of the Light Pack Two itself, what it was supposed to entail when the Kickstarter's promised to us. I'll give you a little more information about what's happened along the way with the Kickstarter, and then give you my personal experience. But ultimately, this video is to warn people to not buy this product. Stay as far away from you can uh, as you can from Wooden Shark, the creators of the the product. Uh, honestly, at this point, Light Light Pack Two is either a scam or, at the very least, a bait and switch. And there's many reasons for myself and hundreds of backers uh, to to think this. I'll give you some more information here. It's probably going to be a pretty long video, given as much information as I possibly can here. But I do implore you to go to the Light Pack Facebook page and the Light Pack to Kickstarter page and look through the posts, look through the comments, read not only things from upset backers and misinformation that we've been provided and lied to about, but also see comments from the creator, Wooden Shark, and see what contradictory information they provide. I'll give some of my personal experience here as well. I have some bullet points to help try to keep me on track. Uh, but it's going to be a long video, so I want you guys to strap in. Um, and I just I, I hope you guys come away from this realizing there are competitors' products. One example uh, that I've heard good things about uh, that came out uh, recently and is shipping now is the Dream Screen. Heard great things about Dream Screen. I've already ordered one myself, and uh, we're gonna get into it. You'll see that this is a pretty big mess, and I want to uh, just jump right in because this is gonna take a while. So here we start off. Uh, this is the Light Pack 2 Kickstarter. So the Kickstarter was posted online. Uh, it was, I think, like April, uh, April, May, June, somewhere of there, of 2016. It, it'll have the exact date on here, but you will see that it was uh, fully funded in August um, of 2016. So it was funded August 8, 2016. So it, here it is talking about what the product is. So let's see what they originally created and what promises they made and what it entailed. So it's an HDMI pass-through, no computer needed. That's fantastic. Compatible with any HDMI source, LED ribbon that fits to any screen size, four HDMI inputs, smart corners, which auto-detect the LED ribbon length, uh, backlight for the TV, and pixels. So we'll get into to pixels. That's another upgrade thing that they, they had to offer. So here we are. Okay, so here we are. We have... Um, something that's pretty much demonstrating exactly what the light pack 2 is what it does and so we can see it's taking that color from the screen and expanding it now the pixels uh, are these little itty bitty cubes which they have lined up around the room takes the color from the screen sends it to it i personally think they're distracting kind of excessive might be cool in like a party like environment if you wanted some party lights going but as for if you're watching a movie or playing a game or something, I think they're kind of a distraction myself. But to each their own. The glory of a free market. Don't like it, don't buy it. 
So, but they're they're relevant to the story because they're one of the big upgrades uh, here. So the big upgrades uh, that they're really advertising here, and I mean you can even see that up here. Um, whenever you buy the basic light pack too, you get the light pack two unit itself, a remote, the ribbon, and the smart corners. Uh, smart corners are definitely a big deal, a big push for the advertisement. They even show uh, in a video here of how you set it up. Uh, you'll see they show you cut the ribbon, you stick the ribbon to the back of the TV, and then you stick it here into the smart corners. Smart corners are there to communicate with the device itself uh, and tell it how long the ribbon length is, where one, li one ribbon begins and ends so it can make sure it disperses the light. Also helps the light get all the way up into the corners of the device as well. So also very important. Auto detects the size of your screen, things like that. So let me start off by talking about the original light pack. The big thing you're going to realize that concerns the hell out of you about this company and the product and what support they're going to provide is the original light pack uh, like I said it did rely on software software called prismatic so the prismatic software it also had firmware updates they've not released a firmware update in years um, the prismatic software no update in years they did eventually make a uh, beta for like a 3.0 version been in beta for years so it was actually because it was an open source software the community actually created their own branch of software for it to fix some of the issues because Lightpack Wooden Shark just wasn't fixing it. So someone had to. And the main issue was performance, um, game performance with tank. You take a big hit. With the changes uh, made by the community, it's improved a lot of the performance issues, but not completely alleviate them, which is one of the reasons you're going to try to get away from software at all and that's one of the advantages of having one of these standalone HDMI pass-through devices you don't even have any sort of frame rate hit you're bypassing that entirely um, but yeah so that's one of the, the big things right there they're quickly to just not support their product um, and they they don't even hide that so one of the other big selling factors on here um, besides you know the the changes to the unit itself and the pixels where is it on here there it is. So they talked about using this company called Frank, which objectively, um, Frank is an incredible service that I think Kickstarter should probably mandate every single company use. Uh, what it is, uh, is, well, let, let's let's read what they talk about this. Accountability and transparency have been the central problems of Kickstarter as a platform. Nothing keeps project backers up at night, uh, quite like the idea of founders taking their pledge dollars to Italian car manufacturers instead of Chinese factories and Belarusian programmers. So the information from the bank account in question was open for third-party scrutiny to any backer 24-7. So that's what Frank does. So you'll see... If you try to go look at Frank now, not only does it make you use an app, but the app's no longer um, viewable in the U.S. anymore. And as you can see, when you look at the website, it's pretty messed up. But if we look at the Light Pack to Frank right now, we'll see the last time they updated this was November 20th of 2016. So they sold us, they lured us in and made us think, okay, they're not gonna screw us over with their money, uh, with our money because they're going to be transparent. Fantastic, every company should do this. Lo and behold, they get the funds on August 8th, 2016, and then by November, they're not even showing us where the money's going. They did it a little bit and then just got rid of it. So, a lot of people are speculating a lot of this is financial related, um, if not scam related. So that's something we're all speculating. We'll get more into that as it goes. So there's a lot of updates that they've done throughout uh, the years. I definitely recommend you go through those. Not only read the updates, but also read um, the comments so you can see as time's progressing how people are getting updated and, and, uh, uh, upset. But don't just check the updates on the Kickstarter. Also check them on Facebook. There are people there as well who are upset, including people who've pre-ordered. Um, Pre-orders, they can pay immediately. They get added to the pre-order list, and they ship as soon as the Kickstarter backers are done, presumably. So I have a general time frame here um, that I've put down in notes to save us some time from having to go through each and every single update. But please, like I said, I implore you to read through these if you're interested, because um, there's some interesting stuff in there. So we originally started the campaign 
let's look at their production schedule. So when this originally started, and I get it, Kickstarter is not a pre-order service. Uh, it's not a store, even though a lot of people feel that way. You're not guaranteed to get a product um, necessarily. So I realize a lot of people shouldn't view it that way, but let's keep it real. People do. Um, and especially when they continue to promise that you're going to get a product and they continue to delay. Delays happen and things like that. So with all this being said, we knew what we were getting into going into a Kickstarter, but I'm just trying to advise going forward why now that we know where they stand, uh, buyer beware. So when this originally started, they had a working prototype as of April 2016, which we can see if you look at the demo videos, you do see a functioning unit. In the um, beginning. You do see a functioning unit here that's actually displaying the color on the walls and everything, and it's working. Um, so we know it functions. We know it exists and works in some way, shape, or form. It's just about fixing bugs, hardware issues, mass producing, that kind of stuff. But we know they have the basics down. That's also something that gave us a little bit of trust. So, okay, so it was July they did the Kickstarter, excuse me. Um, and by August they were funded, good, fine, great. And so their goal was to have Golden Sample by October, do certification and everything, and then ship by February. Good, fine, great. Um, so that was their original intention. So if we jump in to the updates, like I said, I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quick to save you guys some time. I'll try to alleviate some um, some of this video here, but I do implore you to go through these. They even touch base again here on the financial transparency of uh, Frank, which again I think is a great idea because you'll see here like it'll show the app, seven hundred fifty dollars for the app. Uh, 1866 for the light pack 2 PCBA, uh, 20 pieces, things like that. That's great. It shows the backers exactly where the money's going, how much money's in the account, that kind of stuff. And I think that is beautiful. And that's how all companies, again, should handle it. Um, so let's take a look here over the updates. So the first delay, because again, they're supposed to ship by February uh, of 2017. So if we jump ahead to February 2017, we actually got our first delay. As of that point, they didn't provide any sort of ETA. They just simply said that it was going to be a delay. Of course, they're in February at that point. Okay, delays happen. Um, on February 17th, I have, again, I have notes here, so it's making it easier to go through this. Um, to, to kind of keep the pace. But anyway, they said um, as of February 17th, they're like, okay, well, we're gonna have a delay. It's gonna probably be about April. Uh, all right, good, fine, great. Um, then they said light pack two, all of them are gonna have the Wi-Fi, which is good. That was a good upgrade. I, I'm glad they did that. Um, and then uh, I actually wanted to bring this up specifically because this is important. Uh, April 14th, uh, they actually talk about uh, the light pack mounting system. Before it was a single adhesive strip uh, and all that, but now it uses these clips and smart corners. So as of April 2017, they're talking about the smart corners again. Note that, that's important. Um, but I do agree with the switch to clips rather than the adhesive because once you take it off, the adhesive doesn't work quite as well and it doesn't stay on. I have that issue with my original light pack. Um, so they emphasize the smart corners again a big selling point one of the main bullets of uh, the backing um, backing tiers so smart corners there they emphasize that again so april 27th rolls around so originally they said it was delayed till april on april the 27th um, they post a new update schedule and that update schedule uh, says that they have the final te technical documentation to prepare a request for the FCC slash CE certification. So as of April 2017, they're about to submit for certification, which is important. You want to get that certification in as quickly as possible so that way you can get the product out the door as quick as possible. Makes sense. Um, but as of this point, they did um, delay it. They said that we will begin production in August. Shipments will come right after. So as of April, we had a delay until August. Unfortunate, but okay. Delays happen. Um, they said that it was taking like more time for them to understand the technology, all that kind of stuff. So then we jump ahead because August, of course. So in August, they said that there was failure to deliver um, of a, one of the many products uh, from a manufacturer. Um, for their parts and stuff. So they have to give another delay. And they said that um, they have to find another supplier. They took two weeks to do that because they were missing CPU and memory. 
uh, once they have a new supplier and everything, we're three weeks to production. So August 1st, we're three weeks to production. Okay, granted, we have to get a new supplier, which we just, which they did. So they put here August 28th, supply chain issues resolved. They got a new supplier, good, fine, great. So based off what they had told us before, three weeks, right? Three weeks to production is what they, is the time frame they said at the end of August. So at this point, they said they're on track for mid-October. So jump forward to October 16th, one day technically after mid-October, they announced a delay, you know, last possible minute. Everybody kept saying, hey, are they going to ship? Are they going to ship? Are they going to ship? Last, like, are they produ uh, in production now so that way they can ship in October? Uh, instead, they give this October progress report saying um, they've now been delayed due to, uh, or excuse me, delayed till November 5th to 6th. They give a whole production schedule saying um, gold samples are being produced at the factory, absent certification, um, things like that. All necessary certificates, paperwork's in progress, so the cert certification's in progress. Uh, even though we're now in October, halfway through October, and even back in April, you said that you were literally ready to submit those. I don't know how long certification takes because I'm not involved in this kind of business, but that does sound like quite a while, um, in my opinion. But okay, what do I know? Um, as of that point, they said that they have. Um, logistic and shipping infrastructure set, so that's all good to go. Um, now, Pixels. Again, I'm not interested in Pixels, but some people have bought and paid for these and they're expecting these. So they said Pixels are gonna take more time. So we've decided to split the shipments of all sets with Pixels, room sets, um, all of that kind of stuff um, to send the light pack first and the Pixels once they're ready in a second shipment. Makes perfect sense. Get, get what you can to the backers as soon as possible. So right now their schedule is shipments are going to begin November 5th through 6th for the regular light pack and December 15th to 16th for the Pixels. Um, keep this in mind for the Pixels, 15th to 16th of December, because they never talk about Pixels ever again even to this day. Uh, pixels have just vanished. Um, some backers are wondering if Pixels are ever going to be made. Um, so that's the last we ever even heard of the Pixels. <clears throat> okay, so at this point, everybody's expecting um, November 5th to 6th. So here's where shit really starts to hit the fan. November 7th of 2017, we get Corners update. So the Smart Corners, one of the main selling points of this product, um, everybody's expecting a shipment email. Instead, we get a notification of an update. Is the update about shipping? No, no, it's not. Instead, the update is about them changing one of the fundamental designs. One of the reasons we backed the product was for these smart corners. So instead, they said that because it was a hassle with rulers, multiple cuts, uh, no risk of making an annoying mistake, and things like that, they just have one single solid strip that's wrapping around. It looks it doesn't look pretty either. It doesn't get the light in the corners as much. It's ugly. A lot of people think it's just them cutting corners financially, no pun intended, um, because you know the technology that's going to be in the smart corners and detect the size, communicate with the unit, all that, get the light up in the corners is going to cost more than just a single ribbon just wrapped around and it's bent out. Um, and they, we had to beg them for weeks to get pictures uh, or video of this, and they finally did. Uh, they finally gave it to us, and, and we all thought it did not look good. It did not look like what we paid for, and a lot of people started demanding refunds, which we'll get to the refunds. Uh, we'll, we'll go over that, because that's, that's its own thing. But yeah, so the big thing about this is they're telling us November 7th, presumably after when they were supposed to ship, um, about this change. So last minute, past the last minute, technically. Um about this change and people are upset and they're like no worries we made this design change months ago we've made this change in i think they said it was like may and so we're like okay if we've invested in you and you made this change month ago months ago why are we just hearing about it last minute why didn't we get a chance to give our opinion okay if you think you know best for the product sure but you should have told us months ago we're now past the year mark where people have paid and now people can't even do chargebacks with their credit cards because it's been over a year that this charge is posted and now you guys tell us about this that's kind of fishy because there are some people who have systems like projectors and stuff that this actually can't work 
with their setup. So huge step back, not only in quality, but a backhand to the backers and just acting like we're crazy, denying us pictures for a while. And then finally, they're like, we're going to make a video. And we're like, dude, we're just asking you to just walk up with a cell phone, take a picture of the back of the TV, and that's it. And they're like, well, we're going to make a video. And it's like, dude, it takes you like two seconds. We just want to see what we're backing, what we've already paid for. Um, so that was the first real huge debacle um, of this. So let's move past the corners update. December comes, um, and so they said production as of December 14th was underway. Um, no ETA was given, and then on December 25th, Christmas Day, they give an update, and then they said production starting at the end of December, which is weird because they had said in the last update that production was started, so... That was already some sort of misinformation. Um, and then it said certification was still not done, um, which, I, again, I thought was weird because I'm like, weren't you guys ready to certify back in April? And then you said that certification was going through in one of these past couple updates. Again, I don't know how long certification does. Maybe it really does take months. I'd, I'm not going to pretend to know. I'm not involved in those kind of intricacies of these businesses. But that just sounds fishy that... You were ready to submit that back in April. It's now December. So you're talking, we're looking at a good eight months later and you're still not certified. Again, that could be completely normal. I, I don't know, but that just does not sound right. And for the average consumer, that doesn't sit right with me. Um, so then the, at that point, they said uh, January is going to be the delivery. So roll up to January 31st. Uh, as of January 31st, this back, this update does show it's for backers only. However, there are pictures of it online. People screenshot it if you want to find it. They said, long story short, that there's PCB issues uh, and that they have started shipping some units. Oh, no, no, well, there's... <laughs> There's a lot of confusion whether or not they've started shipping units as of this point. Based off the update, I believe they said that they've not shipped any units, um, despite what I was personally told. But again, we'll get into that. Uh, so they said that they're going to delay it till the end of February due to these PCB issues, and then also due to the Chinese New Year, taking two, two weeks to close the factory. Outside their control, I understand, but super unfortunate. Now, just for reference, today's date is February 26, 2018, that the time of this filming is occurring. Um, last I heard... Um, they did announce that there was another delay and that it's going to be March. Because um, I remember they specifically told me the third week of February, my unit would ship. Again, I had one of the very first, uh, I was one of the very first backers. First come, first serve. So I should have one of the very first models off the production line, presumably. Not just that, but they also promised I would have one of the first. But we'll get to that. Um, so all signs point to them not having shipped yet. But they told me third week of February. I mean, we're literally two days from the end of February. It's this point not shipped, and now they're saying March. Sure, in March, we're going to hear another delay, but that remains to be seen. So there's the history of what's happened with the updates and that kind of stuff. Um, so let's talk about uh, some things in here. So it's going to be a pain to go through all the pictures to find it, but there are some pictures in here of um, the device itself demonstrating that the colors shined on the walls are not accurate. Um, there was one picture, I'm going to see if I can find it here, uh, from Uncharted where there's some ocean water that's blue. And, oh, perfect, here it is. I found it. So you can see there's blue here, but it's shining green on the walls. Like, And that's like a bright green. It's not like a like a, you know, like a blue green color. That is a bright lime green color on a blue background, which doesn't make sense at all. Uh, I mean, even you can argue this is orange and it's shining red on the wall, um, which, granted, it's better than green for blue, but, like, yeah, so there's some questions of quality control there um, with the color mismatch and everything. Uh, constantly waiting for last minutes to give news, avoiding people, um, n n refusing to respond to messages. I can't tell you how many people here uh, in the comments have said that they have not received a message back. Um, they're just blatantly being ignored. Lightpack is a numerous occasions. People are saying, why aren't you answering my questions? And they have come on there saying, we're answering all your questions. What questions are you having that we don't answer? And then people would ask the question and they would just not answer it. Um, things like that. Uh, so terrible, absolutely piss poor um, communication 
absolutely terrible. And, and we're going to get more into that here. I'm just trying to give some general overview now that we're moving past the preliminary information here. Um, so let's talk, let's talk a little bit about false advertisement. Uh, false advertisements is never good. So let's say you are Joe Schmo. Uh, you've never heard of a light pack before, but you finally hear about it. You don't know anything about it, and you say, I want to check this out. I think I might order this product. So you go to their website. Makes sense. So let's go to their light pack website here. Okay, you're looking over. Oh, cool. I like this thing. How do you make the, uh, like, how do you set the light pack up? And actually, this was the video right here. Okay, well, let's take a look. How do we set up light pack? Okay, and you mount the LED ribbon. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, what's this? You can mount the parts with smart corners. Okay, that's great. I want to buy this product now because I like the smart corners so I can get that light up in the corner and make sure that the uh, LEDs and everything um, are measured for me and I don't have to worry about counting LEDs. Unlike that, let me go order the product. Oh, wait they don't sell the smart corners anymore but they're still selling the pre-orders telling people that they have the smart corners um, which is super scummy let me show you let me show you something else here's a video by light pack talking about roses red tetris has blocks a gift of light packs beats any loot box jumping on the loot box trend. So this is a video uploaded January 26, 2018, and it's basically saying light pack is a good gift to give gamers. Okay, cool. Maybe I'm someone that wants to buy this light pack for my significant other. I never heard of it, but I'm like, oh, this is a great video. I want to go buy this product for uh, Valentine's Day, February the 14th. Well, I want to clarify again, it is February the 26th. And as of this time, this is not shipped to anybody has not shipped to backers it's not shipped to pre-orders so if i saw this and i said oh boy let me go buy this gift for valentine's day for my significant other i couldn't if i wanted to i can't even buy these secondhand off ebay these just aren't available so that's false advertisement and while we're on this video let me point out something a little fishy let's check out their youtube channel now their videos get a couple thousand views because I don't know if you noticed, but they do autoplay on their homepage. So you get stuff like 3.9 thousand, 18, 19 thousand. Uh, some of these are much lower, maybe two to three thousand at the most. The autoplay ones tend to be higher. You have these ones from Kickstarter that were circled around quite a bit. But then you look at this Valentine's video, 128 thousand. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it's not millions of views, sure, but it's 128,000 compared to their second highest video being 19,000. That's a huge jump. And all it is is a silly Valentine's advertisement. Well, let's look at the comments. I was just thinking what to give. Class, a great gift. Anyone would be happy. Cool thing. Russian text. I think not bad present. Oh, light pack is cool. I think I will buy it. Great idea. It best gift for a gamer. Maybe I'll buy funny video. How is that funny? I was thinking what to give. Thanks for idea. I think not bad present. So like you see all these things. Look like Olga, does she look thank you. Interesting thing. It is very interesting. Like does Olga look like she's gonna buy a light pack? Are these even is this even a real person? It's a bunch of Russians. Google just auto translated it. But it's a Russian thing. So it's a, it's a Russian account. This person doesn't have anything. Shows videos he's liked. Again, it's all Russian stuff. So the point I'm trying to get at here is view botting. This is view botting, obviously. Um, and then I also put a comment on here at one point. Just wanted to point out, uh, I do have a screenshot of it somewhere. But I did put a comment on here saying, funny how you're advertising this as a gift to buy someone for Valentine's Day and you haven't even shipped the backers. So that someone couldn't possibly buy this Valentine gift. Something along that those lines. And they deleted it. You'll see the comment is just not here. Um, so yeah, kind of a form of censorship um, there. I, again, I do implore you guys to look through these comments on, uh, on their project. You'll see a lot of mine on there also. Um, not always the nicest thing. I don't get belligerent, I'll say that much. Um, but I, I, I wasn't very happy. 
So let's talk about refunds. Uh, and then once once we're done with all this, we'll get into my personal experience with Wooden Shark. So refunds, it, a lot of people are upset, understandably show, especially with the light, uh, excuse me, the smart corners change. Uh, a lot of people are just upset with the lack of communication and they want to order a dream screen, things like that. Um, so a lot of people have requested refunds. Lightpack has said, we will give you a refund, but only after we've shipped every unit to every backer in pre-order. Then you will get a refund, which is messed up because what they're hoping is people will say, oh, well, woe is me. I might as well wait for the product because I'd get that before I got my refund. Which is ridiculous. Oh, and this actually reminds me of one point I forgot to cover. Oh, okay, I did put it on here. I just didn't get to it yet. So when it came to the pixels, told you they were going to ship them after. Um, and this is why they hid this last update. This is in, in this one. Again, you can find a picture online, but it's for backers only because they didn't want to piss people off. But in this update, they said, those of you who ordered pixels, if you want to add your light pack first and then get your pixels later, you have to pay an extra shipping fee. That's not something they mentioned before. They've never mentioned that, and that pissed a lot of people off. But again, it points to them having financial problems, trying to cut corners. So... Instead of doing the right thing and shipping the light pack first and pixels later, which we still have no ETA on or any mention since November, I believe it was, um, and they said it would ship in December, um, as of this point, they're saying that if you want your light pack now, you got to pay extra, which is just super messed up. Super messed up. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. Uh, about my personal experiences with Lightpack. Uh, I'm going to go through some messages between myself and Lightpack. Um, I'm going to try to cover everything I can because there's multiple ways I communicated through comments and stuff. So there's a lot going on that I'm bound to overlook. But I'm going to try to keep this as concise as possible. At some point, my messages um, got deleted, but this is as far back as my messages go. They did respond to me at one point. This was no, uh, excuse me, October 30th. We're going to send orders to all backers, customers at the exact same time, but also depends on order, da, da, da. So, and that was on October 30th. So I responded to X saying, what's the status? Last we heard, they're going to start manufacturing approximately 1025. We haven't heard since. And I got no response because I responded to them immediately. 312, I responded at 313, one minute later. There is someone answering those messages. So I put a sad face. <laughs> Uh, like 40 minutes later. Okay, so they get back to me a couple hours later. We're going to publish a new update on, in the future. We have nothing else to say about that. We're really, we're working hard, and we're really close to shipping. They were so close to shipping in October. So close. So close. Again, we're almost in March. So close. I said, all right, thanks. Um, so now we're mid-November. Hey, what's going on with shipping and communication in general? And so they have this bot. If you message them, you'll notice it immediately responds back saying, thanks for messaging us. We'll get back to you soon. Marks the messages read. I think they're doing that to try to get rid of a lot of the messages. Nothing. Six days go by. Hey, and so I, I was like, dude, I'm going to make a video on this project. Like I am now. I waited so long, and you're going to see why. So I said, hey, would you guys be interested to answer some questions about a YouTube video I'm working on for your product? I want to get an interview right from the horse's mouth to answer some questions for you guys. Because I was like, this is, this is reeking of a scam. So there's the automated message. So they get back to me several weeks after. Thanks for contacting us. There are several design changes um, connected with the corners. We are in the last mile of testing. Uh, start, we started the manufacturer process. So as of December the 4th, they said that they have started manufacturing. So according to my notes here, December 14th is when they said that they had started production. So we've now been told December 14th and December the 4th, as of this method message, we started manufacturing. So we now know, according to what they've told us, they've started manufacturing as early as December 4th. But they did an update on December 25th saying production was starting at the end of December. So was it done on December 4th? Was it done on the update of December the 14th? Or December 25th? Those are all different dates. 
But I don't know what to believe. Is production underway or, or, or not? So I said, this last mile's take, uh, lasting a while. I said, the video isn't finished yet. It is in progress, which is why I want to ask questions to include in the videos. Because they asked, could you give us a link to this video? Um, I can't link something that's not done. Thank you for supporting us by preparing a good video. Ask any questions of your choice. Okay, cool. I said, I'm trying to make a good video. The problem is you've had some poor issues with your current product and Kickstarter so far. The first question I need to answer is, what's the status right now of this product? What is the current status? What is causing the current delay? When are shipments expected to start to backers? So here they are. They are actually being nice and answering some questions. I, I do appreciate that. Products are currently under production. Again, February, uh, December 6th. They are under production. We've, we've now heard that multiple times. They have to be. Uh, the delay was caused by product design optimization. Whatever that means. I mean, they, they've had gold samples for months. Um, golden samples were being tested back in June. Granted, that doesn't mean they're done. Um, and then by uh, August, they said that they were ready, but the only thing stopping them was that they, they, mean, they, they had the supplier that failed to deliver them a product. Um, and then they had the supply issues resolved. They said they're on track uh, for October. So you're telling me product optimizations were causing this delay when you're telling us this whole time that you were just trying to get the parts and you're ready to start manufacturing and then there's more delays and we don't know why and you're saying it's because product optimization? What do we believe there? What, what, are, we, what are we forced to believe at that point? We can appreciate comments and concerns. Um, would you, could you make some video review of our light pack too? Uh, and I said, yeah, that's what I have planned as well. But right now, I'm more concerned on representing the backers. We are concerned because you've hidden crucial design changes, uh, that being with the smart corners changes. I understand we're beneficial in the grand scheme, but when issues with communication were a concern and those were literally a selling port of the product, it hurt backers' trust. So you can see, I'm not going to sit here and bore you guys by reading every single thing. I'm going to try to summarize it. Uh, you can pause the video to read it if you want. But the point is, I'm not being belligerent. I'm not like, where's our fucking product? Or anything like that. I'm just trying to be reasonable. So we understand your reasoning. We want to know why you haven't communicated with us, why you can't even show us a simple picture of the product we've already paid for to help alleviate some concerns because we couldn't get a picture out of them. They announced this corner change. This is December the 6th. They announced this corner change on, uh, on uh, November 7th. And again, they had changed it months before apparently. So they couldn't just take a simple picture in a span of a month? So they got back to us. Let's see. Um... Yeah, they're saying, yeah, you can represent the backers. We're working hard to finish in the manufacturing process. Once again, implying they're being manufactured. We understand that some angle, the confusion, may, uh, current situation may look a certain way. Um, certification of the product and communication with the factory is very important for us to be high quality, of course. We're preparing a new update. Um, we received a few preliminary videos, unofficial ones from the factory. Okay, cool. So you can see... Here we go. We can see what they look like without the smart corners. You see they're kind of half-assed and just kind of bent. So also notice, a lot of people notice the sketchiness of this because we're concerned about how the light's dispersing in the corner, but they put this TV up against the corner of a room so that way the light disperses on the wall better. Why wouldn't they put it up on a flat wall, which is what an actual use case of the product would be? So that's sketchy. But anyway, I won't go through every single video, but you get the idea. It's, it's definitely not that great. Um, so let's take a look here. So you can rely on us. Better communication is always important. We're struggling everything every day to be as clear as possible. Don't believe that. Also, if you're interested in our product, we are offering you to be one of the first who will receive Light Pack 2 for review. Of course, you're interested in such cooperation offer. So I'm like, okay, I'll get, I'll be one of the first people to get it. I was already one of the first backers, so that makes sense. But now I'll definitely get one of the first ones so I can review it for you guys. Great. So I said, definitely interested in doing a review, especially as uh, owner of the original, having helped promote great ways to use the original version with a fairly successful video, being how to use it with consoles and stuff. Check that out if you have a light pack PC. Um, and that was on December 14th. Good many hours go by, nothing. Five days later, still nothing back. 
um, is shipping still on track for this month? Get the automated message. I said, especially with Christmas and New Year's coming. They come back saying, we have a small delay with our answer, so we need confirmation. Are you ready to make a video review of our product? I am ready. I've been ready. I'm waiting to get the damn thing so I can review it. Uh, give us information about your video structure. Shipping's planned for January to February. <clears throat> As you agree to prepare uh, the video review, your order will be put first list for shipping. So I basically say, frustrating that there's a delay, I basically tell them about my video structure. Uh, a day later, I said, you said I'd be put on the first list of shipping. When is that scheduled for? Automated message. I would always respond back to the automated message because it marks it as red, but when you reply a second time, it doesn't mark that as red because it doesn't auto reply, so I can check when it actually is red. So they did their update on the 25th. I said, I see your last update. When is the first batch that you're wanting to include, man? Automated message. I was confused. You said production will start when the certificates are received, which should be this week, but the product won't be shipped till the end of January or February. See, more stuff that doesn't make sense. Again, according to their official updates on Kickstarter that you can check, production was underway on December 14th. As of this update, on December 25th, production will start, hasn't been started yet, it will start once the certificates are done. These are the same certificates that were ready to be submitted back in April. I'm sounding like a broken record at this point, aren't I? <laughs> All right, well, thanks for sticking with me. Got nothing, couple days go by, nothing. So I say hello, automated message. January 1st, still awaiting some sort of information, automated message. Also, a lot of people are wondering what's going on with pixels. I have no myself no interest in pixels, but there's been no information on them at all. Nothing. January 8th, is there any news? Thanks for messing us. Okay, what on earth is going on? It's been almost a month without any response. Automated message. We were told they would be shipped by now. What on earth is happening? January 21st, they finally respond to me. Thanks for contacting us on Facebook. Please, video release on YouTube is possible. We'll need to add some tags to make it right. You will be the fir one of the first receivers of Light Pack 2. Since we already agreed about video review, shipping is planned for the end of January. February will inform shortly. So we're at the end of January, January 21st. And they're saying that they're planning on shipping by the end of January to February. So we're on the last mile. Let's do it right. Pixels are the same as described on the website. It's confirmed. That, that's it. There's your pixel update. What's going on with the pixels? Pixels are the same as described on the website. It is confirmed. So glad I paid for pixels. I mean, I didn't. But I'm just saying, like, how, how do you think a backer is supposed to feel about that? And so I said, so they haven't shipped yet because I was told they've started shipping to some backers. I was told that if you look up Wooden Shark, you can find a phone number to contact them. Presumably some people speculated it's directly to the CEO's phone number. I don't know. I don't condone spamming this person or anything like that, but I did contact them and that person told me that they had started shipping some batches. I might still have those text messages. I know I have some messages from that person. Uh, I do need to get them pulled up. Um, here... Let's see. Yeah, no, I, I don't have those specific messages. Um, but yeah, he. I think that was on the phone, actually, not through text. He told me, he said, yeah, we've shipped some. We're shipping them first come, first serve. Um, to which I was confused. I'm like, wasn't I supposed to be one of the first ones to get this? Not only was I first backer, but you promised for this review. Um, so I was confused, and I was asking for clarification. I'm sorry to say there were no orders yet, so no one else could get the device. Okay, because I'm not sure who it was I called in the New York office, but he told me units were shipped already. He took my email so he could get back to me on how long it'll be until mine ships. Uh, he never did. Um, I don't understand why there's so much misinformation and lies. When is shipping beginning? What exact date have the products even been manufactured yet? Because again, we were told back in December at the beginning of the month that they were being produced, yet based off of recent updates, it was saying the end of December. Which is it? All right, January 23rd. Uh, the person you tried to reach was not lying or giving you false information. Recently, we were working on a situation with a few light pack PCs. They thought you were asking about the light pack PC. First of all, I remember that conversation, and he did not think that. I said I was calling about the light pack 2 Kickstarter, and he's like, the Kickstarter? Yeah, 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 we had some bumps and some delays, but we're shipping. We just started shipping. So he knew what I was talking about. I know that for a fact. Basically, there is no relation to the light pack 2, so the answer is correct. We sent all light pack PCs that had to be sent. I will check the exact date of shipping this week and get 
back to you. Most probable this week. Sweet. Most probable shipping the week of January 23rd. Product, as we all know, the last update was products were under manufacturing. Okay. Confirmed again. He specifically said light pack too. So I'm basically just disputing at this point. I was saying that we need an update. Um, I was saying dream screens, even shipping. It's frustrating. Basically just expressing frustrations there. I'll just summary. Regarding the call, I just realized my camera actually zoomed in at one point. I'm so sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm using my, my Apple Watch to like... Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for contacting us on Facebook again. Jesus. Regarding the call, perhaps there was some misunderstanding. Uh, we discussed this internally, and the official answer I can tell you is that we, the support team, are given the correct data. So I can't believe whoever the hell I called. Um, I said, I appreciate you being a little more prompt with your responses. I did appreciate that. You're welcome. We suggest make it informative, not longer than 15 minutes. Sounds good. What's going on with the exact date? Three days ago, one backer was told late February, what's going on? I'm guessing that was, I think that was something on Facebook. They would reply on Facebook very often, whereas they would rarely reply on Kickstarter. That's another frustrating thing. This product hasn't, so I told them, um, I was super, super frustrated at this point. Um, and I was like, the sooner I get my money back, the sooner I can order a dream screen, because I just, I'm tired of this. So I told them, I'm gonna get a charge back and purchase a dream screen um, if it hasn't shipped by February 1st. Now, this message was sent on January 26th, and I only said that because I was going based off the information where they said it was most probable that week it was shipping. So, um, I put that there. I expressed, expressed more frustrations. I will say I did get a little bit irate. Again, I never just got to the point of getting super belligerent or anything. Like, I never started cussing or anything. I, I worked in customer service. I know how it is. I don't want to deal with that. But they get we're upset. But they've been talking mid-2017 how it should be shipping any sort of day now. And I said, now we're almost to the second month. So you're going to come back with more delays and end up blaming it on the Chinese New Year. Surprise, they did. <clears throat> so I said, I'm still making it. I've already filmed some stuff. I've tossed all that out as of this point. Um, which is why I'm just going down to this rant format as of this point, which is way more informal, but hopefully more informative for those who want to sit down and listen to every fucking thing I'm talking about. Uh, heed this warning. Um, so I said I have to go back to my plan, original plan, and post a warning. Here we are. Because of this point, if you even respond to me, I'm not sure if I can even believe a word you're telling me. Because I can't. I've gotten so much mixed information. Um, so I said it hasn't shipped and I'm not given a tracking number by February 1st, I want a full refund. So here they are. Your light pack will be sent until the end of February. The reason for this delay is connected to the quality manufacturing. Also, Chinese New Year slowed down the process. We're going to start shipping in February. What I say? Uh, so maybe you could give us a chance to deliver your product by the above specified time. Okay, fine. So I said, all right. Well, this will be your last chance. If I don't have it by the end of February, I'm done. That's fair. Mentioning uh, the, the, the dream screen again, saying that I could go with that. Thank you for your patience. We will do as promised. Let's focus on the video discussion now. So they're talking about what's going to be in the video, all that fun stuff. I said I'll do a history of the product, all that stuff. I show my previous video talking about using light pack on consoles um, and stuff like that. Great. But we're in the agreement end of February. Um, so I saw their last update, automate message. I said, I need to know again if you if you ship some units, because they mentioned in that update they ship some units. Why hasn't mine shipped when you're telling me I'm supposed to be one of the first units? Thanks for contacting us on Facebook. I forge video plan and management to that. We've put you on the list of the first receivers checking the situation now. Okay, cool. And I just put on there that... Okay, I'm confused. You guys have said that you shipped, albeit a few, because they had supposed PCB issues. Um, shipments to backers already. I'm wondering why I wasn't a part of this. Why wasn't I a part of one of the few? I was supposed to be one of the first. Um, not just by order placement, but because they said for the review. So then, five days after this, you know, they, they said that they were going to check on it and keep me informed. Okay. A couple days after that, Aaron, we've received notice that you're not interested in waiting for your product anymore. So we've received information that we can fully refund your order. Would you like to proceed with a refund? 
I said, I last advised that you have till the end of February to get it in my hands or I'm ordering a dream screen. At that point, I would request a refund. Thank you for your reply. Your refund will be issued in 10 days. I said, excuse me? And I remember this. It was showing they were reading my messages as I was sending them. I said, you're literally not reading my messages. I said, I do not want a refund. Nothing. I said, hello? Again, they're reading it immediately. So the message is open and someone's viewing it. And I said, I can see you're reading my messages. I would appreciate you replying to show you understand. Dear Aaron, don't worry. We haven't started the refund procedure yet. Let me some time, please. I want to check all information and read your previous messages. So super frustrated right now because I'm like, am I about to be freaking refunded? So what is there a read? Right now I'm waiting for the product I paid for. I'm told I would get it the first batch is sent out, yet the latest update said batches have been sent out. Uh, and for some reason, I was not. I need to know why not and when will my product be in my hand? And this was February 7th. Nothing two days later. So when are you getting back to me? The automated message. I'm waiting. Ah, February 12th. Uh, I just got a random notification. I was out getting some food. Got a notification in my email that my pledge was refunded. Thank you for messaging us. We'll get back to you soon. Light pack team. I said I did not request a refund. Thank you for your patience. We checked all information. You've asked a refund. That's why we did it. This is what we got from you earlier. And they went back to the, if I'm not given a tracking number by February 1st, I want a full refund. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact us at support at lightpack.tv. And then they blocked me. This person is not available right now. I am blocked. And if you go to their Facebook page, I cannot like posts. I cannot comment. All of my comments that have been left on their Facebook posts have been deleted. They have censored me because I kept calling them out. I would go on their Facebook posts and I would talk to other like pre-orderers who weren't following Kickstarter and asking what was going on. And I was advising people, I'm saying, hey, I'm talking to support right now and I heard there's gonna be a delay, things like that. I was giving information to backers. You can still see those on the comments on the Kickstarter backer page uh, in the comments there, but you will not see them on their Facebook page. But I implore you to go find my updates. You'll see. I'm sharing as much information as I can get. Now this number I was texting with, um, he even said here on January 27th, your package is expected at the third week of February. There are two extra weeks due to the Chinese New Year. Um, and then I pretty much said I was upset about all this. He said, do you want to wait or do you want a refund? I told you the story as why production is slow now. We are shipping by 200 units a week. Very specific number. I don't want to ship you a defective unit. We are solving quality issues on factory site. I have these messages. They're here. <clears throat> and... Uh, so then I sent screenshots here from this conversation. Because he said that he's shipping. He just told me in this text, uh, this text message, yeah, we're shipping units. And I screenshotted the conversation where they said they're not shipping. And I said, this is telling me that they're not shipping. What is it? And he's saying, oh, they're talking about Lightpack PC. Lightpack PC you can buy online now. And so I was confused. And he said, I told you the shipping dates for your order. In the worst case, it's third week of February. There's a chance we'll send it next week before Chinese New Year. Team is in China now. Worst case scenario, three weeks in February. Again, February is ending and no one's received any shipments despite when he's saying there's not a single backer that has had a shipment of this product. Not Find me one person who has received the Light Pack 2. They don't exist. They are lying to us. They are lying repeatedly. And why? They can't make up their mind why it's being delayed. They're making these product and design changes. Now they're silencing people. It wasn't just me. There was another guy by the name of Colin. I, I messaged him on Facebook and I asked if he was banned too. He said he was. He was expecting a, a apparently a manager to contact him. He's been expecting it for weeks and instead they blocked him. I got messaged by someone in Russia, uh, Russian previously. I had to use Google Translate to even understand any of his messages because he typed completely in Russian. He was blocked weeks ago too. They're just blocking and censoring people and refunding people because now that I've been refunded, I can't talk on their Kickstarter page anymore. I used to comment a lot. If you look through those comments, you'll see a lot of comments by me, but now you won't see any because I can't comment because I'm not a backer. I can't see backer updates. They're censoring me, but they can't censor my YouTube channel. Do not buy this product. This is a scam. 
And if it's not a scam, it's a bait and switch. And with that being said, they don't deserve your money. What they've done here, they've completely lied to people about transparency uh, with their financials to bait people in. They baited people in with the promise of smart corners and changed it without any knowledge and last minute notification. They've lied time, times and time again about certification and shipping. They've lied about the quality of the product. They've lied directly to my face. I've had this person lie when I've called him. I've had the support lie to me. The updates have lied. You don't know what to believe. And on top of all of this, I've actually somehow obtained some level of communication with them, but there are backers out there who are sending emails. There are backers out there who are commenting and messaging, and all of them are getting no response. Nothing. I'm fortunate enough to have gotten some sort of response, but they can't get any. And that's sick. There are people asking for refunds. I just got forced a refund against my will when there are people who don't want or can't use the product anymore who are demanding a refund and they're being told, we cannot give you a refund. Instead, you must wait until all the products are shipped, then we can give you a refund. But they'll refund me against my will because it silences me and they can censor me for it. Do not buy this product. Do not buy from Wooden Shark. This isn't a company worth supporting. I've personally placed an order for a dream screen already now that I've gotten my refund. They do have a discount code available, which I highly recommend checking out. This is not promoted promotional material in any way. I'm not affiliated with dream screen in any sort of way. I just see their product is shipping. They're offering a discount code that makes the price just as competitive, if not more competitive, than Lightpack. They're available now. People have these in their hands. You can find people using them on YouTube and stuff who have an actual physical functioning product. This product, at this point, we're not even sure it exists, and if it does, we're not sure what quality it's going to be. I realize this video is way too long at this point, and if you've actually sat here and watched through the whole thing, I love you to death. Please spread this video around. Please don't buy from Wooden Shark. Please check out competitors. See about building your own ambient light solutions or buying from a competitor like DreamScreen. I even heard Asus is supposed to be getting in the ambient backlighting game and stuff. Um, I believe it was Asus. So um, I would just highly recommend against going with Lightpack for this. There are other competitors and options available. Please don't give them another nickel of your money. They don't deserve it for their poor, poor business practices. Um, in fact, if you research Wooden Shark, a lot of people think they're just a front for another third-party offshoot Chinese company, which could explain the lack of communication and uh, misinformation provided. Lastly, I, I, again, I thank you guys. All this has just been my experience. Um, a lot of it, of course, has been speculation. I don't know concrete information about what's happening in the factories. I'm not there. I can only speculate based off the information that's been provided to me and the other backers. Please review the Kickstarter page, comments and updates, review their Facebook page, all the comments and posts, look at them, read them, see other people who are not just me, even go to Reddit uh, on the Lightpack Reddit, which is just r slash Lightpack, and see I'm not alone in this. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've actually sat through this whole video. I love you guys so much. You guys have a great day.